So in gauge view thickness, we give you a variety of options to choose for your file types, incremental, sequential, sequential with custom points, 2D grid, 3D grid, boiler. So then there's also a type called manual and manual is used when none of the other file types kind of work for your application. Maybe the ID names are kind of all over the place and don't follow any type of structure. What you can do is you can create the ID list in Excel or in a text file and then upload that spreadsheet or that text file to import those custom IDs. So that's what I want to show you in this video. So first I have to create the Excel spreadsheet. So I start in column A and this is going to be all my ID names and then column B is going to be all of the thickness readings. So when I create the manual file, I'm going to tell gauge view to start at A1. So that's going to be my first ID. So I'm not held to any structure here, so I can kind of put whatever I want for the IDs. So I should note there is a 20 characters max for the ID number. So you do want to make sure you're under this. You also want to make sure that each ID or TML is unique and there are no duplicates. There should also be no empty rows in the list of IDs. Since when GageView Thickness imports the document, it scans the specified column until it hits an empty cell. So you want to make sure there are no spaces or empty cells in the list of IDs. So you can put what you'd like for the ID names and then just save the spreadsheet. I'm going to save it to my desktop and just call it look one. So then I can open up gauge view. So you would need to start with creating a database, which I went over in another video. So to create the manual file, I'm going to click the database and then do create new data set. And data set name, I'll just do as manual. So data set type, I want to choose manual, and I'm going to be doing just straight thickness. So I click next. So at this point, if you didn't want to do the Excel spreadsheet or text file, you could just manually type it in here. Sometimes it's easier to do it in Excel or text file. So that's what I'm showing in this video. So I'd have to check off Excel file. So it's saying that it's going to start looking for IDs in column A, row one. So I'm going to click Browse, and then Desktops where I saved it, and then Book 1, and then click Open, and then click Import. So now it imports those 10 kind of custom IDs that I created in my Excel spreadsheet. So from here I can click Finish. So the survey file is automatically created. So I'm, now I can actually transfer this onto the instrument. So the first thing I need to do is initialize it. So I click device and then config. I'm going to choose 38DL plus and click add because I'm connected through a USB cable and I'm using the 38DL plus. And I'm going to click OK. So if I click 38DL plus. So these are the other files that are currently on the instrument. So now I can transfer the manual file. So same drag and drop. I'm going to click with the left click, hold it, and drag and drop the file in the upper window. So now the file appears in the upper window. If I go on the instrument and click File, shows that as the open file. And if I turn on DB grid, you'll see these are all my custom ID points. So from here I can start saving readings to the file and then transfer it back into gauge view or to Microsoft Excel.